everyone. Welcome to RC World. So you guys are probably wondering why are we seeing a how to sharpen a knife uh, video on our RC channel. Well, because sometimes you need to sharpen knives for your RC cars. If you're working on them or you're using, you're going to cut something or splicing wires. I use my really sharp knives to splice wires and things like that. I'm going to show you how to sharpen a survival knife uh, shovel at the end. Now this is going to be an easy, clean way on how to do it. Now you can probably tell, as my sharpener, if you guys can see the table, I hope I did that right, my sharpener is a little bit dirty. Yes, it's old, but it still works. It still works really good, as you guys can see right there. So first, there's two sides on here, okay? You got your kind of like, you can feel it, it's kind of hard texture and stuff like that. And then on this other side, you have your nice, smooth kind of uh, texture right here. This is this is going to be our end part. We're going to start with this part right here. So yeah, first off, you can see a couple different knives here. I'm going to start out with these two right here because these are the most dull. This one, I'm just going to show you how to do it, but this one's not dull. It's pretty brand new. I'm going to show you the one in here too. So I'm going to start off with these ones right here. We're going to go over to our... Okay. So first... We're going to start by opening it, of course. We're going to go out to the knife that needs uh, sharpening, because you can see how I'm touching this, and it's not cutting me or making any lines on it. So, well, the sharp, that, that is sharp, so we got to be careful with that. I'm going to close it and try to keep it open as best as possible. And um, first, we're actually going to start on the nice chorus side right here. Sorry if my table's a little bit wobbly. So first, now this is going to be hard, so actually, you know what, never mind, <laughs> open it, it might help. So, first we're going to, if you see the side right here, see how I can't really go and I can't get down good in there because it doesn't move that far? Well, we're going to go down to the edge right here. And now, what we're going to do is, is that we're going to go like this. Like that. And then, we're going to go to the other side, like this that okay and then we're going to keep doing that I'd say about three times now mine's having a little bit of trouble because it's uh, dirty all right I'm going to keep doing that or you can keep doing it until you see or feel that it's pretty much sharpened but I I like to do it a couple times going to do actually a couple more times here. Alright. Hopefully that did the job. It looks a tiny bit sharper. I'm going to actually do it a couple more times here. I'm going to do it a little bit more faster now. It's harder with this kind of tool. Alright. Now, you can see that's getting a bit sharper, just a bit there. Now we're going to go to our smooth side, which is we're going to flip it just like this. And we're going to do it on this side too. We're going to do the same process. It's a bit better. This knife is very hard to deal with. It's not the greatest knife in the world anymore, but... You can tell it's, it's doing a bit better, just a bit. I'm actually going to flip to this other side and do it on here again. Now, what have you all been waiting for is the shovel. All right, so the shovel. I'm going to get out of my bag here. That's the shovel. As you can see, it folds up. And you can open it, and I'm not going to lock it down because you don't need a whole lot of force to lock it down. But it's it's dull in some parts. It needs to be re, kind of like redone, you know. Alright, I'm going to 
So for this, is that you're basically going to want to do the same thing. Kind of move around like that. Kind of go in the off position like this. This is how I was taught. If you guys do it a different way, go right ahead. This is just a simple way of doing it. I mean, sometimes you don't even have to go side to side, but to get that whole clearance, you can see now that it's getting pretty sharp right here. All right. Now the hard part is doing it like this. Because you're going to have to kind of keep it level here. And you have to move it like this. Be sure to pick it up. And the head, now the head is going to be the hard part. Because it's, you don't, because it's rounded. Now, you see the crease is right there, that crease. You don't want to sharpen on that crease. I mean, you can sharpen it, just you got to kind of be easy. And I actually forgot to go on the other side with this, but it's pretty sharp anyway, so we're still on the coarse side, like the hard. I don't know if I'm saying that right. The hard side, the like, rough texture side. So... I'm kind of, if you guys see my motion, how I'm doing this, I'm kind of like turning it to get every piece. It can, t it can be very hard. For the even harder part, and I'm actually going to hold it up for this, is doing the edge like this. Now be careful to watch, be careful to uh, watch, watch your hands, your fingers. And you can see in a kind of motion like that, and that's how your grades are going to do it. I can feel the difference from this side to this side. And that's how you do it. That's how you sharpen a shovel like that, using, using a sharpening stone. Now, I would definitely do use a smooth side on it afterwards, but, you know. Alright, so, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.